If you've recently lost a loved one and aren't sure what you should do next or what your next steps should be, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Derek Rangel. I'm a certified probate specialist specializing in the sale of probate real estate throughout Southern California. And I've been doing this for over 30 years. And so when you're dealing with the situation, you want to know immediately whether there are any succession documents. That would be a will, a trust, a living trust, revocable trust, all kinds of, they're all different instruments, but something along that nature. And so the first thing that I would advise you to do is, if you don't know where your parent or whomever uh, you recently lost has their valuable documents, the first thing that's important to do is to tell someone that you're gonna go look for them if that's what you're going to do. But at some point, someone's got to locate these legal documents. It's important to do so. The reason why you wanna share with someone that you're doing that is so that people don't feel they're being taken advantage of when they may not be able to go do that with you. There's a lot of bad things that happen when around the time the people pass and I would say the majority of them it's a large percent a very high percentage they do it the right way but then there's a certain percentage that try to swindle and steal and do some underhanded business and that's why you want someone to know what you're doing and then as you're searching and you're trying to locate these important legal documents indicate your steps take some video so that you have some proof that you were doing things as transparently as possible and when you find them video videotape what you found. That helps you put people at ease. You can share it, you can communicate around that video, and it takes a little of the mystery out of what you found. Next thing you want to do after, if you're able to locate the documents, is gather everybody and, you know, do it. You can do it on Zoom these days, you can do it on FaceTime, There's a lot, a lot of different ways to share this conversation, but have that conversation and share what you have. And the next thing, after everybody knows what's going on, uh, is obviously the documents should indicate who is intended to be the appointee. Either that would be a successor trustee, could be a co-trustee, co-executor, or an individual. But at some point, there's going to be a person who's nominated to be in charge. Now, in a will, there's going to be an executor, and the executor is going to have to consent to serve. In a trust, they also have to consent to serve. And some of the mistakes that people make when they're doing this, a lot of people think that, oh, I have this, so I don't have to do anything in the court. And that's not correct. So my advice is if you're not a thousand percent sure, have a conversation with the trust and estate section member attorney from the California Bar Association. These are the best qualified legal professionals to put you on the right path to get your potential probate matter or to get your trust functioning in the right way. And so that you have that succession plan, now it's going to take its first steps. And that's the important part you need to do is just how do I get out of the gate and initiate what's got to get done. So hopefully this little tidbit of advice will help you. And uh, I would like to have a conversation with you if you have any real estate that you may need to sell in your estate. We've been selling throughout Southern California as it for over 35 years and we're well versed in this niche. So if you need help in that respect, do give us a call. My link is in the bio that you can like or follow. And if you want to subscribe, please click the bell and we will update you on our upcoming publication. Thank you so much.